Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you the feature called as N plus one HA in Cisco Wireless LAN controller. I already covered uh, uh, HA APSSO and uh, uh, that configuring HA on Cisco Wireless LAN controller in a different video. So this one, I uh, will just explain uh, what is uh, called as N plus one HA in Cisco Wireless LAN controller. Sometimes you will hear the name as N plus N and sometimes you will hear that as n plus one so the only difference between uh, these two are uh, like if you are talking about n plus one this n n can be any number it can be one two three four five six like it can be any number of wlc's but your backup will be only one one uh, device will be running as a backup if you are uh, talking about n plus n that means how many WLCs you have each WLC will have a uh, backup controller on the other side so that is called as n plus n so don't get uh, confused on that part but uh, normally this feature called as n plus one HA in Cisco wireless LAN controller so what this will do is uh, you will have uh, multiple sites deployed with WLCs but you will not have um, physical HA available there with SSO you can use this kind of uh, solution for your uh, backup solution so uh, wherever you have uh, budget constraints still you want to uh, have a, a backup controller on that uh, site or uh, multiple sites you can uh, easily use this uh, option so um, we have some uh, minimum requirements here so this HSSO is supported on uh, most of the controllers um, and uh, Another uh, advantage of uh, using N plus one uh, HA is if you are uh, planning to put a 5508 and you are 5508 as a backup controller and you have only 50 licenses on your controller while you are using it as a standalone controller. But you, you can convert that into uh, your um, HA backup controller that can go up to the maximum uh, supported uh, number. So for an example 5508 can support up to 500 this irrespective of your uh, license number available on your controller it can uh, support up to that uh, that many APs on the HA, uh, HA mode as a backup controller. So how to how to convert that uh, WLC into uh, into HA, uh, HA backup controller I'll, I'll show you that in CLI let me log into my controller first so this is uh, this this is my uh, backup controller and uh, so so it's a 5508 5508 controller with 500 ap uh, with as a maximum number of ap supported show license summary uh, will give the uh, total number of licenses i have in, uh, on this controller so right now I have a permanent license with uh, 250 count on uh, on my controller. So uh, license capacity will uh, show you the number of uh, APs can be supported in normal mode. Now I'm going to convert this controller into a backup controller. So the first thing what you have to do is, so as you can see here, show redundancy summary. This particular uh, device is running as a unit as a primary so first we have to change this primary into secondary then only you will be able to use that HASKU uh, capabilities on this controller so the minimum requirement uh, on HA is if you want to convert or you, are, you want to use any controller that is having permanent license as a backup uh, sorry as a HASKU either you have to order HASKU device or you have to convert your uh, WLC into HASQ. If you if you want to convert it, the minimum requirement is you need minimum 50 AP count licenses, the active licenses on your controller. Otherwise, you will not be able to convert it. So before I convert this, let me show you the other controller that is not having 50 licenses. So show license count. Sorry capacity you can see this one uh, supports maximum 25 and I can't convert this one into a uh, standby controller so config redundancy unit secondary is the command to convert the uh, unit into secondary as a HASQ 
when I hit enter, you can see this one is not allowing me to convert this mode into secondary because I don't have the required licenses here. So I'll do that on this controller. So let me try to configure this one. Config redundancy unit secondary. So this one accepted uh, my command without any issues, but uh, you can see that show license capacity still shows that uh, it's 250. So you need a reboot to uh, claim that HJSKU uh, uh, feature and uh, get the maximum supported uh, clients, uh, sorry, supported AP licenses on this. So as you can see here right now, this count is 250. Let me uh, reboot this uh, controller so that uh, you, you will get that maximum supported AP count as a license count here. So let me reboot this. Uh, meanwhile, I'll I'll show you how to do this configuration on uh, GUI. So I have uh, same controller here, uh, but that is rebooting. So let me show you that uh, uh, on the other controller. So you can go to the controller page, and if you want to change that through GUI, go to global configuration, and you can change this to secondary and click apply. But as I said, this one will not allow that because I don't have the uh, number of licenses required to convert this one into HSK mode. Then after after doing this uh, conversion, uh, how you will configure this backup controller on your uh, on your primary controller, like as a backup controller. So for that, you have to go to wireless. Inside wireless, you have global configuration under access point. Go to global configuration. Then here you can type your backup controller. So um, right now I have 9.9.9.33. Uh, uh, so I already configured that. So this uh, here you can give the IP address of your backup controller, and you can uh, give the name of uh, backup controller here. Then click apply. This will uh, save your backup controller information on your primary. And whenever this one got uh, it fails, it will automatically move the APs into your uh, into your backup WLC. Now let me uh, show you the normal basic AP priming uh, on your uh, Cisco Wireless LAN controller. So for that you can go to uh, AP uh, wireless or uh, under wireless you can go to any specific AP and you have a high availability option available on your AP specific window. So there is a tab for that and primary controller you can choose your own controller and you can give the management IP and even this HSKU device uh, that WLC can be added as a uh, primary or secondary here. It's it's uh, based on the requirement. So you can add it at a secondary uh, saying that backup iPhone WLC is my secondary and IP address is 9.9.9.33. So this is also possible. So this one is also will work uh, similar to N plus one, but uh, this configuration is different. Now uh, our reboot of the controller is finished. So here, uh, let me log in on my HSQ device. Show uh, license summary will give you the number of licenses available. So I shown this before, this controller before rebooting, its license uh, number was uh, 250. So there is no difference uh, uh, on this count. Then your max count was 250. Because you have the permanent license, you added, uh, you change that to uh, secondary, secondary controller. Now it's uh, it's rebooted, reboot is completed. Then still you can see that uh, this license count is 250. But when you check show license capacity, you can see that this one can support up to 500 now. Previously it was, uh, this one was, this one was 50, 500 now, this one was 250 here. So that's a biggest advantage while using N plus one. So you, you are getting uh, two different things. So one is you are uh, you are going to support multiple sites using one controller. Second one, you will be able to use the entire uh, license capacity or entire AP supporting capacity of your device while uh, using it as an HSQ. The um, the another limitation is uh, each and every AP that is going to move here 
you will have uh, a timeline of 90 days so you have to so let me show you that uh, section here so so this, this is the uh, section uh, talks about that so as soon as ap joins on hsq secondary controller the 90 days timer will start so means you should not be using this one more than 90 days because you should not think that you can change that to secondary and you can use it for a maximum number of APs and you can keep it in your network. So there is a timer. Whenever this AP joins on your controller, that timer will kick in. And after that, it will show warning message saying that it's uh, it's illegal uh, kind of usage. So please keep that in mind. This one is only for a uh, scenario that uh, you have uh, AP uh, sorry the controller failed and uh, you are trying to use a backup site so if you are um, using that more than 90 days you are going to get an error message similar to this so you should not be uh, using that it's kind of a illegal illegal scenario let me show you how to uh, configure this backup controller on uh, CLI on a 5508 so the command is uh, config advanced sorry config advanced backup controller then your uh, primary then your system name so let me put backup iphone wlc that is my system name for my backup controller then ip address as 9.9.9.33 .9 so um, backup controller is already configured um, because we done that from um, GUI. So this is the command to configure your backup controller through CLI. Then uh, to see that show um, advanced backup controller. This will show you uh, what is your backup controller configured on uh, your CLI. Here um, show redundancy summary will show you how uh, this one is uh, configured right now. So as you can see here backup controller is uh, configured without SSO then uh, local state is active and unit type is secondary then uh, the at the same time uh, on the second controller uh, that is the primary uh, and uh, here you can see redundancy summary you can see SSO is disabled local state is active and uh, unit is primary and show backup show advanced backup shows that the backup WLC is is the backup controller with the IP address of 9.9.9.33 .9 so this is how the HA N plus 1 works with Cisco wireless LAN controller hope this one will help you uh, in uh, making your network safer using an HA scenario by HSKU here Thank you for watching, see you in next video.